With costs increasing along with high inflation, the IRS has released some news that could save you hundreds of dollars. Sounds pretty good. The IRS has announced it's making adjustments in response to that inflation. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has an in-depth look at the changes. When you get your paycheck in mid-January or end of January, you'll probably see more take-home pay. Good news for families saddled by soaring inflation. The IRS announced starting next year, depending on what you make, some of your money may be taxed at a lower rate, meaning you keep more of it. If you're paying more for everything, having your taxes go up as well is probably not, you know, it's just something that people need to, that the government is trying to adjust for. But in this election year, this is not a political move from Washington. These tax changes are tied to inflation each year. In previous years, with inflation at 2%, we hardly noticed it. With inflation at a much higher rate now, these changes in the tax rates or in the tax table have becoming more significant. We're recognizing it more because of that. One of the big changes, the IRS is raising the standard deduction. That's money you can earn without being taxed. For the average married couple filing together in Nashville, that alone would mean paying $396 less in taxes next year. Money experts say you will likely notice. I believe that most employees are going to sense their take-home pay going up uh, if they compare their January check to their December check. A bit of positive news in an economy that experts say could use some. This is a breath of fresh air in an otherwise uh, pretty gloomy picture right now in terms of the economy overall. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. The IRS also increased the amount of money an employee can contribute to a flexible spending account. That's money you can set aside for medical expenses that does not get taxed. And that increase of $200 more a year.